let's start with the dxy i've already done like the analysis we are currently on the weekly chart and then as you can see here we broke structure in this area here and then we have this high here around this point here so we are looking for those uh, dollar weaknesses so that we can get like uh, a few entries and then this is where we broke structure in a form of an ascending channel and then i'll just remove like the high that was broken and then switching to a daily chart that is where i've thrown up like uh, the overall ascending channel that uh, gave us that nice nice mass psychology area and then on the daily you can see that this is the 90 percent drone and then i'm expecting to get like a larger flag at this point here to get like those uh, weak nurses and then another thing that i'm looking at is on the four hour that's like the the momentum of this overall instrument and then i'm expecting like a larger flag at that point as i said and then we have this uh multi-touch confirmation we have this one two and then we can expect like the third touch for us to get like those uh impulses to the downside and then on the hour so on the hour we are currently in this type of movement and i'll just remove like this ray line here so the ray line has been removed so uh, what i'm anticipating is that we can just get like a running channel of which it will just be in this type of format for us to get like the, the touch a nice move to the upside up until like this area here and then that would be like a form of an ascending channel just like this and then we get that ascending channel and then it will just complete like that first touch second touch middle section which is this point then we get the third touch to, to get like two cells then now let's look at um, euro jpy so as you can see this is the overall high and then this was the high that was initially broken to get like that mass psychology activation so I'll just remove that one and then we have a nice ascending channel on the weekly chart and then switching to a daily chart uh, that is where you'll get like that second touch around this point here let me just we have the first touch at this point the second touch and then initially we can get like a third touch within this overall structure just because we didn't get like the third touch to complete like the overall ascending channel that we have at this point and now let's switch to a four hour let's just check for momentum so in the four hour we have this double top and then an overall ascending channel and then we have this impulsive leg here of which it's very convincing we may get like those nice cells and then on the hour chart so on the hour we had like a few entries that we could have taken but like i'm expecting a clear push or a clear break of this ascending channel and then i'll just put like the 90 percent rule at this point here so what i'm initially expecting is a clear push to the downside and then a nice confirmation flag six to eight hours and then i'll take uh my cell at that point and stop loss just above this point first target of which is this one here and then let's see if i can just i can a i can be able to manage the trade 3.3 and then the overall target is about 12%, 12.8. So that's uh, what I'm initially looking forward to. And and then uh, the second take profit is about 20%. So the overall move is about 20% to the outer structures. And then looking at the USDCHF, remember we are looking for selling um, pressure on the DXY. So that's what we are looking forward to getting like on the dxy the usdchf those nice uh, cell setups so on the weekly we have the double top triple top to be precise just because this is the first top second and the third touch at that point so 
and then we had like a nice push to the downside uh, at this point here yeah, of which is very convincing and then on the daily chart i saw a nice break of structure of which it's like the 90 percent rule activation and then the daily let's check the daily so on the daily this is what we currently have and then initially looking left you'll see that the overall move is to the downside this is a nice impulsive move the, this could be like the larger corrective move to initially complete the overall 90 percent rule so let me just remove each and everything then on the four hour we are in a corrective phase which is this one here in a form of a descending channel of which it can be it can be evolved into something else so i'll just wait up until we evolve the structure and see if we can get like a nice entry but i'm expecting to get like some selling opportunities on this one so let's switch to a uh, before we switch to uh usd jpy let me just see if we can just uh get something else so this could be like the evolve structure that we can get and then let me just remove these ones here so that you can get to understand my thought process on this one let me just remove this yeah and this one here okay so we can get like a larger expanding pattern of which we have we can have like this type of movement like this and then we can get like this as our overall high here and then we get like that nice corrective move in the form of a running channel and then we look for those cells at that point or this point here and then it will be initially like a double top to be precise and then you have like the first touch here the second touch and then that double top will just form a third touch also then looking at usd gpy let's switch to a weekly chart let me just refresh so on the weekly we have like a nice ascending channel of which we don't have like any price action on the left i don't know what's happening but the overall ascending channel has had like a nice ascending channel at the top in the form of a first touch second touch that touch so our overall target can be like the first touch and the second touch so the overall target can be like the third touch at this point that would make sense and then on the daily let's check the daily so on the daily we are just following the overall momentum of this uh, nice pair so the overall momentum is a clear push down corrective move on the lower time frame push down corrective move lower time frame push down and then this is the corrective move that we currently in for us to continue and complete the 90 percent rule and initially the third touch on the higher time frames so let me just do this and on the four hour let's just check uh for momentum so the momentum is there and then we can have like a larger corrective move of which we get to the upside reach this double top area and then we look forward to getting like into the trades with ourselves and then on the hour chat so on the hour we broke structure as you can see here but like it's not that convincing so what i'll be waiting for is initially a override or a double top override of which you have this first top here and then push back to the upside double top we sell or initially we can just evolve the overall structure let me just push this back evolve the overall structure of which we get like a clear corrective move up until this point and then we sell from there 